Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Make it do something, they say. Where's your LEDs? Gordon said, OK, here you go. Here's some LEDs. Four different colours in a repeating pattern. There, I've made it do something you can't do on an ordinary Raspberry Pi because it needs 32 GPIO ports to do that many LEDs. Let's have a quick look at the Python script. It's uh, using RPI GPIO and lots of lists. Let's run it once more. So each board there's a set of eight LEDs and a Darlington array. They're powered from five volts and each LED is individually triggered by a single GPIO port. You could only do that with a regular Raspberry Pi if you used a port expander. So just how many ports have you got on the new compute module? Well here we've got a close-up of the header. On this side it's all ground 3v3, 1v8 and a couple of 5 volt ports and on this side the same. So the actual ports are on the left hand column of each of the two banks and this one starts at 0 and numbers sequentially up to 27 and this one starts at 28 and down here it goes to 45 and after that you've got some dedicated ones SDA, SCL, those are I2C ports, another couple of I2C ports and some other more specialist ones which I haven't looked up what they are yet. So you've got 46 GPIO ports which compares with I think 16 on the on the regular Raspberry Pi, so you've got quite a, a large number of extra ports that you didn't have broken out before. Here, let's have a real close-up view of the actual module itself. There you go, I'm holding it in my hand, so sorry if it's a bit shaky. So here you've got the sodium connector, the BCM chip with its onboard memory, and the EMMC memory chip, and obviously, as everything, it's got a nice Raspberry Pi logo on. Lots of test points here, and a few components on board as well. I know you want me to take it out, don't you? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, so there's the actual module itself, all on its own. On the back, it has a, has a few components, well, quite a few components actually. So here's the compute module, and here's a memory module from an old laptop. You can see it's old because it's only 256 megabytes. I think that was three laptops ago. So they're exactly the same form factor, same pinouts, in terms of position and number, but obviously they're not electrically compatible. There is a warning about that in the documentation. If you were to plug that into the baseboard and fire it up, it would probably not be a nice result, so that's not going to happen. So let's put it back in. It's quite a snap. And then you push until it clicks, and these need to be in the little cutouts. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.